Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to be changing the oil on my 2022 Chevy Silverado LTD. This vehicle is equipped with the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbocharged motor. It takes six quarts of 5W30. I'm gonna be using mobile one. We've got a five quart jug and a one quart jug there. I'm gonna be using an OEM AC Delco filter and I'm also gonna be using uh, some basic tools like this oil filter removal tool and a 3 8 socket with extension. So the oil change procedure on this vehicle is relatively straightforward. We've got our fill plug here on the top that will remove the dipstick here on the right, that yellow stick there, and then a standard spin-on filter location on the underside of the motor and a drain plug as well. The drain plug is a little bit different. Let's go underneath the truck and take a look. So I'm here underneath the engine and here's the oil pan and then there's the filter off to the right. So you can see this drain plug looks a little different than you know what maybe you're used to. On this engine it is like a quarter turn and it comes right out. And the way you remove it is with a 3 8 socket head that you stick in that square and you just turn it and remove it. So I'm not going to actually drop this yet because I don't have my drain pan in place but you can see that 3 8 socket just fits right in there and you'll need a little extension and then you're just going to remove that and the oil will start to come out. So it comes out relatively easy and then that oil just starts to drain you almost immediately. It makes a nice mess unfortunately on your socket looks very similar to like the fill plug on the top of the engine. You just uh, use a quarter turn with this socket, 3-8 socket, and it comes right out. It's got a gasket on there. So while the oil's dripping still out of the drain plug, I'm gonna remove the filter. And I'm using my fancy little oil filter removal tool that just slips on. And you can use your regular 3-8 and it grabs the filter and loosens it easy piece of cake now that it's loose I want to do the rest by hand all right so this drip for a while I'm uh, gonna wrap it up here I'm just gonna wipe off and this excess oil around the filter housing. Make sure there's no old gasket stuck on so I get a nice good seal with my new filter. I've got my new filter here. I've lubricated the o-ring with some old oil. I've also filled this filter up about halfway with fresh oil. There it is. I'm just going to spin this on hand tight I'm coming back over here and I'm going to reinstall my drain plug after I wipe off this area here. Fun fact, this looks like it's a plastic pan on the bottom of this engine. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay, GM. Whatever you say, take my new, new, or, you know, plug, stick it up in there, and I guess I need to use the socket, right? That's it. Let's go up top and fill this baby with oil. So we're back up top. The fill plug is very easy to find. It's right here on the center of the engine cover. It's marked with the oil symbol Dexos and 5W30. And then right down to the right is the dipstick. We're gonna go and fill this up. Six quarts is the capacity on this engine. Now that it's full, I'm going to replace the fill cap and we're going to check the level on the dipstick. So the dipstick's over here on the right side of the motor. It's kind of hard to get to if you're standing on the ground and you're a normal sized human. I'm 5'11 and it's kind of tough to reach back here and grab it like when I'm checking it at, when I'm filling up for gas and whatnot. So I'm using a stool right now to reach in here and grab it. I'm going to wipe it off once. 
then stick it back down and check the level. Another thing about this dipstick is it doesn't like to get pushed in from the very end. You have to kind of feed it along. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but we're right at the top for the level. We're going to start it up and check the level again. Make sure you dispose of your old oil responsibly. I put the old oil into the containers that the new oil came in. I take it to my local auto parts store and pour it into this big, huge oil drum that they have and it gets recycled. So the last thing to do is reset your oil life monitor. This is going to be a little different because I swapped out my gauge cluster with a high country gauge cluster, but the process is similar. If you have a standard custom, there's a little scroll wheel down here that you turn to scroll through the menus. And when you get to the oil life screen, you just simply push in on the scroll wheel until it resets back to 100%. If you have any of the other trucks with the screens in the middle, you're gonna have some controls on your steering wheel like this, and you're just gonna to go to the oil life screen. You can see mine's at 9%. I really let it go long on this one. You click in, say, are you sure you wanna reset? Yes. Thinks for a minute, and voila, you're back to 100%. And that's all there is to changing the oil on a 2.7 liter Chevy Silverado or GMC Canyon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. See you next time. Later.